Okay, this is going to be a review of the Home Medics HMDS Eclipse Alarm Clock. Um, I know that an alarm clock may not seem like a great product to review, but this clock has a couple features that I find very useful and it makes it probably my favorite alarm clock I've ever had. So I figured I'd just do a quick review on it in case any of you are happening, do happen to be looking for a new clock. It is available at Bed Bath & Beyond for only $10. So it's very affordable if you're looking for a cheap clock with just your basic features. So let's just take a quick look at this product. It does come in three colors. It is available in black, silver, and the pink you see here. Um, it just has your basic features such as your snooze button right up top, your alarm set, and your different clock settings. Um, one feature that is pretty nice on it is the auto set feature to where as soon as you plug this into your wall outlet, and plug it into the back of your alarm right here, it does set the clock automatically. I have noticed that when I plug it in, it is about two to three minutes ahead of my phone time and my iPod time, but that doesn't bother me because me, myself, like a lot of people, I like to have my alarm a few minutes early just in case. If you don't like that, it does have the manual clock set up here on top, so you can change that up. And on the back, it does feature a daylight savings time and time zone button. So if it's not set to the correct time zone, you can change that. This clock does have two separate alarms on it, which makes it very convenient if you don't get up at the same time every day. You can just press this one one day for when you get up, and you don't have to worry about switching your alarm every other day. If you get up at a separate time, you can just set the other alarm over here. The best feature on this alarm clock that I think most of you will be interested in is the USB charging port located right here on the back. This makes it very convenient to charge many of your devices such as your cell phone, iPod, or Bluetooth headset that use a regular USB charging port. Now this port doesn't allow you to play music from your iPod through the speakers of the alarm clock. So if you're looking for that, I would definitely go with a more high-end device that will allow music playback. This is simply just a charging port. I just like it because it does allow me to plug in one more device right by my bedside and have it available to me. So the next feature I really like on this clock is the gradual wake feature. On my old alarm clock, it had the very annoying and almost terrifying loud, loud beep to wake me up. And I am not a morning person, and that was definitely not the first thing I wanted to hear when I got up. This alarm clock has the gradual wake, like I said, and what it does is when your alarm first goes off, it lets out some slow, quiet beeps. And the longer it goes off, the louder and faster they get. So if you don't hear it right at first, it just gradually gets you into it, and it doesn't just scare you right off the start. Um, I'm still not eager to wake up in the morning, but it does make it a lot nicer and calmer to wake up to. So overall, I would definitely recommend this product if you're looking for just an affordable, more basic alarm clock. I really enjoy the USB charging port, which definitely makes it worth the $10. So if you're interested in one of these, um, just stop on by Bed Bath & Beyond and pick one up. I just thought I would show you the automatic clock set feature real fast. I do have the alarm plugged into the wall outlet, and now I'll just take the cord and plug into the back. Um, it does have a place to put batteries in for battery backup, but I do not have any batteries in here right now, so this is simply just the auto set feature working. You just plug this right into the back of the clock, and you'll see it automatically sets itself to 916. I have my phone here, and my phone says 913. So like I said, it is a couple minutes fast, and it does save your alarms in here. I have my alarm 1 set for 845, and it has my alarm 2 set for 715. So if your power does go out or somehow gets unplugged, you plug it right back in and you don't have to worry about your alarms or anything being wrong. So there is that feature.